So last but not least, we're doing all this home alone stuff. We're going here, we're chopping legs, you know? Sometimes when we're doing a mini stop, or I'm getting this knee in, uh, cause I'm always trying to play a prevention of the body triangle. So if you're doing everything right, sometimes they might switch to a different position, which is what we call a buck transition, or a buck position. Um, they're really gonna just focus on isolating your hips with one, one hook. So what this looks like, they say, go, I'm already isolating the legs. You see, I didn't want them to get a body triangle, but as I did that, I put them into this secondary position, you know, which is they're isolating my hips. And if I'm not careful, they can start getting me into the truck and stuff like that. So once I'm in this position, what I'm gonna focus on is getting this two on one. Again, very important, two on one. If I can get the home alone, pull out, get over here, even better. You know, getting opposite of the, the choking side. Now I can think clearly, I can plan my next move. Once I'm here, I'm gonna focus on simultaneous movements. I'm gonna let my legs start going towards his face. As my legs goes towards his face, I'm gonna use my bottom side arm to grab his far side hip. So I'm gonna toss my legs, grab my, my use my bottom side arm to grab his bottom or far side hip. So I'm here, all about my legs going towards his face as I grab his hips. That's gonna allow me to turn that corner. As I turn that corner, it's all about this pinch so I can keep his knee line. So when I start throwing my legs out, I keep control of his hips. You know, if I want the truck, I could just scoop my hips back and go right into the truck. Perfect. If I don't want the truck, I can just keep that momentum going, create that X configuration with my hands. So I'm controlling the upper body and the lower body at the same time. I don't want to just let go of everything and hope I can get the back. I want to control the whole time creating that, uh, controlling that shoulder, controlling those toes, pulling, releasing, immediately getting that choking arm, 5-0, trapping that arm, weaving, killing. So yeah, we're getting put in a bad position, but it's not our first time. We're escaping to killing, you know? We're getting out of bad position, instantly putting them in danger and killing them. So we're here. Elbows are tight, you know, if I can, right when you say go, I'm preventing, you know, I wanted a mini stop, but I couldn't get the mini stop for some reason. I'm like, ah, oh, I missed my opportunity. They locked down, they got, they got the, the, the hip controlled. So once I'm here, at least I could do is not get choked. So we're focusing on all those little things we worked on. If I could just hip heist, cool. I mean, uh, two on one and bring it to the far side, cool. But sometimes they're super tight. So I gotta pummel in, get this home alone, this Macaulay Culkin, creating that wedge again, two on one. Bring it to the far side of my shoulder. Once we're here, the new steps, throwing my legs to the far side of their face as I grab their hip. Grabbing their hip, but make sure I'm not just keeping my legs spread, you see, like that. I'm keeping my legs pinched, pinched here so I can keep their knee intact the whole time. So when I switch that corner, even if I didn't want to stop at the truck, look, I'm creating that X again, taking that back. That kill.